Hey everyone, um, I already thought of another thing, as you might be able to tell, that I'd like to talk about, and uh, I I'm going to probably have some sort of a clickbaity title, but basically this is going to be general advice that I think everyone with some sort of mental health diagnosis can use. Um, and it's actually quite interesting, because I find that a lot of the things that have worked best for me don't necessarily have anything to do with schizophrenia specifically. Um, first of these things will be something like you have to remember that most people are inherently unable to understand what you're going through as someone with mental illness because they don't have mental illness. It's, it's may, maybe you can get something akin to it through the use of drugs or something, but it's still. You can't, they, they, they don't know basically, unless you communicate it to them. And something that's an issue for a lot of us, <laughs> it feels weird talking about it that way, but it is how it is, um, is that when we are feeling well, when we're feeling good, when we have energy and all that shit, um, we don't tend to want to think about <laughs> mental illness. We, we want to live our lives. We want to. You know, or, or alternatively, if we can't do that, we want to forget that we feel sick sometimes, or most of the time. Um, but that is probably not the right approach, because when you only start letting out your negative sides once they start affecting you, um, you're not going to be able to communicate properly what's going on to other people, because you're... Uh, upset or confused or paranoid or whatever else so the best thing you can do is to use some of that energy when you are having a good day when you're feeling good um, to try and communicate to some of the people close to you exactly what it is that's going on with you and try not to tell them what to do about it because <laughs> they might actually know better than you in some cases just tell them how you feel and how things affect you. Uh, for me, that would be something like um, I like I like uh, letting people know some of my weak points because it makes cooperation uh, and friendship a lot easier. I tell everyone that I'm extremely bad at keeping appointments, but it's not because I don't want to. It's not because I won't come running out the door if you call me on the day. It's it's I. It, it, it disappears. I lose things. I I forget a lot, and I'm very poor at organizing. Uh, this is something that I've I've talked to the people I do the volunteer thing with a lot, and uh, we've been able to compensate for it because I do have other things that are are strong points. Like if you give me a task, uh, like figure out how to care for a horseshoe crab, or uh, how do we apply for this thing. Or you can send me home with like a clear concrete task for that even if it's complicated I'll figure it out it's the it's the organizing and planning aspect of it that I, I, I completely fail at so um, by telling people about my <laughs> scatterbrainedness in that way I don't just let them know that it's not personal if I somehow neglect our relationship which unfortunately does happen occasionally um, it also gives them some some clear ways that they can still work with me. And um, I don't think that I'd be able to communicate something like that if I'm in some sort of a, an affected state or upset or uh, I've got to get it mixed up with something else. Um, but getting those things, having those things th said, having them communicated and understood by the people that I uh, do things with it, it. It does make things a lot easier for me. I find uh, people are much more keen on giving you space, <laughs> just because they they know what's going on and and they know basically that it's not just because you're being a dick towards them. It's it's you you're just not very good at some things. Uh, <laughs> um, so. Another thing, moving on, uh, uh, a bit of a, a bit of a hack or whatever. In addition to this one, is that 
sometimes it can be extremely difficult to communicate to other people, especially family, I've found, because they've been used to you your entire life. They've grown up with you or whatever. You've grown up with them, and they will tend to see you as normal pretty much no matter what, either out of wishful thinking, like in the case of a, of a mother, <laughs> for example, uh, or or just out of being so used to you that they're not really going to be able to tell that there's something going on, even if there is. And it's kind of paradoxical, because you'd think that they'd know you best, but it actually also causes them to overlook certain things. Something that worked for me with that was that I had the opportunity to have him talk to uh, my doctor and have basically a professional explain to them about my specific case, which was something that I... I allowed the doctor to do. I told him it was all right. I, I'd like that. And I, I can't even begin to describe how it improved my relationship with my family because I, I wasn't there for the meeting, but apparently they must have been able to, maybe it was because it was a doctor in part, and maybe in part because they just explained things differently than I do. But uh, whatever the case, having someone else like step in and give a different perspective on the same thing can be extremely useful if you're trying to um, explain yourself to someone who might not be that susceptible. So yeah. Um, what other schizophrenia hacks can I think of? Or mental illness hacks, I suppose. Um, something like... Well, something that's be, been a, a big issue for me personally uh, is that I, uh, no, that's not really an issue, is it? This is actually a strength. This is another hack, because if you have a severe mental illness, if you have, you know, if you're not working, you're not, you don't have a, a job that you have to get up to and do every day and that sort of thing, in some ways, it actually allows you to be very available to other people um, if you manage to reserve energy for it and um, all the free time that's offered by you needing a lot of time to yourself which I know a lot of people do um, you can use that in a positive way by when possible trying to make yourself available and I'm not saying like seek people out and try and and uh, I'm just saying, if you see like so someone having a problem that you might be able to help them fix, use some of your time on that because you do have the time for it in many cases, and um, people don't really help each other out anymore. And when they do, I find that it's often very much appreciated, and they will be able to perhaps one day help you with some of your shortcomings. And, and that's been my experience. So um, that's definitely worth thinking about as well. Um, which leads on to a, a final thing. Um, friends and social context and all that stuff, extremely important. Um, for me personally, because I'm such a loner, I, 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 I tend to be fine with just gaming, but most people do need more social contact than that. And um, it can be a nice way to drown out the noise because that is essentially what it does. You, you get out of your own head. You do something else. That's the classic way of um, controlling the symptoms of some sort of negative mental thing that's going on. Um, and if the thing that you're experiencing isn't caused by some concrete fixable problem then trying to drown it out or escaping from it is probably the best way that I've found because with mental illness there isn't always a clear cause or a cause at all sometimes you just feel like shit um, the difficulty comes with trying to figure out uh, whether your way of escaping that feeling is actually uh, long-term erosive you you don't want it to be 
because that's what tends to happen a lot of the time with with drugs and and, and the sort. Like it it will make you feel better for a time and forget almost no matter what if you find the right drugs. But in the long term, it tends to make things a lot worse for pretty much everyone. And you want to find escapes that don't do that to you. And that I, I'm 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 gonna advocate for this again. That is why I think gaming is such a legit activity for this. Because besides your time and you know not being in shape and being sedentary, you don't lose anything from just playing games. It's 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 a very low cost activity, which is if you're so inclined and if you can find a game that you can really get into, uh, it, it, it's it, it's it's something that can that you can fill all those negative periods with and emerge on the other side without having a, a ton of extra baggage that you now have to carry. Um, and I know not everyone's into gaming, so but but the thing is, gaming is is a it's it's a broad thing. Like chances are, you can probably find something you you'd be into. Whether that be that it's extremely story driven, or that it's like something Minecrafty where you can just build a, build a cave forever, or uh, a lot of people get into different things. That's not that's not really the point. The point is finding something. Uh, it could even be something like I, I don't fucking know, throwing darts. Like my little brother, he would play ping pong up against the wall, uh, like an entire day at a time. <laughs> my mom thought he was autistic, but turns out that's just something he liked doing. Because I suppose it was a meditative, meditative thing for him, and um, you need that. You need something like that because if you can't get out of your own head in in some sort of a a calm and non disruptive way, then you're going to be driven out into all sorts of weird escapism just trying to escape from yourself and um, you're just going to keep getting more and more stuff to escape from. It's fi find something passive that gets you out of your own head. And uh, lastly, <laughs> for, for uh, a final thing that I'd like to say about this and something that I've mentioned in the, another video before, having insight into who you are and how you work is, is a good thing. But you don't want to overfocus. You don't want to overfocus on mental illness and diagnosis because if you hadn't been diagnosed, chances are you wouldn't have known there was anything. Uh, and be becoming overfocused on something like mental illness, ident identifying with it too much, it makes it part of you more than it has to be. And that is also something that I've seen in a lot of cases and. Even had happened to myself a little bit, but I'm like I, I dug it, I dug my heels in because it's. I feel like it's 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 easy to just fall back on the, well I'm schizophrenic, so you can't really expect anything from me, and that is a trap. Don't fall in that one, because you won't get out. It's it's too easy to just sit there, and sometimes it's it's worth it. Not not skipping anything or just taking the easy route because incidentally when you do that things will tend to get worse and I'm not saying you can't take a break if you need to but just don't fall back on being the mentally ill person and and use that to just kind of well I can't do anything because I have this don't give up it's it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna cause you to degenerate, and it's going to cause the world around you to lose sympathy for you slowly at first, but then quicker and quicker. And at that point, you're lost, and you have a lot of work to do. So, uh, so that's my advice. <laughs> and um, maybe some of you can use that for something. I, I don't know, but it's definitely some stuff that has helped me along the way. And uh, 
<laughs> you guys seem, seem to think I'm doing well, so um, you should do this as well. <laughs> I'll see you around. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I know I've been kind of spitting them out lately, but if you think it's too much, just let me know. And Like, if I don't have enough content anymore, I, things aren't thought through enough. It's just, I kind of like having a stream of consciousness going on, and um, maybe you do as well. Either way, have a nice day, and um, take care of yourself, as if you were someone you loved. <laughs>